Welcome, are we recording? Okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome to still the first day of the writing journey retreat. We had a beautiful start this morning with um, reflections and many, many insights from Wendy from Rome. And um, we had some, some technical uh, problems. You might have seen that. Maybe you weren't be able to enter. Now we have much more capacity. So tomorrow morning, this will be um, fine. But you can find the recording on the YouTube channel, which has been sent to all registered participants. If you haven't received that, you can let us know and we will send it to you. Um, also to say that actually this retreat is really a very short um, notice in the sense that I think we had, uh, Stefania and I had the conversation something like a week ago <laughs> and it was a personal wish to have space for deeper thinking together and deeper um, uh, churning and, and writing. And whoever, uh, I mean, thought came much, much longer before and whoever uh, I talked about it to it um, said, oh yeah, this I like very much. Let's, let's do this and it would be nice. I would participate. But finally it really came, started rolling last week. So it's a little bit of a wonder that, um, you know, in this short time over 400 partic people participate, um, registered and also all of this um, was falling into place. So it's a really good sign um, of a good flow, I think, and, and it seems to be in, in, in um, a need of the family to have time for digesting all the amazing input we get every day from Baba, as well as from so many wonderful instruments around the world. So thank you everyone for coming and supporting this. This afternoon session uh, is really of, about um, sharing personal reflections and also churn together in breakout groups um, and um, yeah, practice and, and experiment with different um, methods. And um, Stefania and I would like to start um, this afternoon sessions with some personal reflections and uh, about actually churning and writing itself. Therefore, uh, I would like to ask uh, you, Stefania, um, why are you participating in this, in this uh, retreat? What is, um, what is your deeper personal interest in, in having a space for churning and writing? Yes, thanks for asking. Like you said, you, you called me You're just- a low. <laughs> okay. Yeah, better. Is it better now? Okay. Yes. yes, you called me just over a week ago to and mentioned this idea of this retreat and it felt like exactly what I had been looking for. And I think for myself, I just moved to a new country and I knew that I would be staying quite a lot on my own because there is a very small Brahmin family here in Norway and I really felt it was a very special gift in the drama and I didn't want to let it just slip by. Uh, the gift of, of having time to be on my own and so this came like a yeah like a special gift and I feel that at this time with everything that's kind of ahead of us and the feeling is that the times we are living are so new, everything is so different. And I really feel that I want to find my authentic voice. Um, I want to live my own truth. I'm, I've been good at listening to things and, and kind of following what others say. That's something I... I know quite well, but I, now I feel that I've heard so many classes and that I really want to be able to go into the depth myself and find, you know, the, how, how I personally relate to the knowledge. So 
and I have been trying like I was you know I've, I've wanted to do it for some time and now I feel that I really you know this seemed like a window into into that so I think yeah I just want to be authentic and I want to be powerful and I feel that um, a deeper way of churning is one of the things that I really need to increase for that what about you, Caroline? Why did you have this thought? I can totally connect to what you were saying. Um, of new, it's also said dialogue with oneself is that authentic voice you mentioned. But additionally, I have another deep um, longing, I would say, and that's creating a culture of being of, of speaking and of working together in my Brahmin family, which is one in which we are really connecting on that soul level. And Baba has given us such a wonderful gift with soul consciousness as a foundation of our life. But we also, I think, all have the experience that once we get into doing and talking and and working somehow this gets lost and a different culture of being and working together is being played out uh, one in which we are not so much connected to the subtle subtlety of our being um, but maybe being caught up in numbers and action and you know programs and all of that this demanding life we have um or which is also the life outside in the state of the world which has become so fast and and complex and to cultivate a different mindset and a different consciousness whilst living in that world and whilst being together whilst doing service together uh, is something which um which is really uh, my heart, uh, heart's desire. And I think also this is something we need to practice in little safe spaces um, where we can kind of, yeah, where we feel it's safe enough, enough to talk from my heart, to open up myself and um, say something which is really meaningful for me and maybe even making myself a little bit vulnerable in that. I would also like to mention that um, even outside of the Brahmin world, um, such kind of communication of dialogue and, and deeper connection has always been um, there in, in the world. And specifically, I think in indigenous cultures. Um, and one, one format I really like very much is um, David Bohm's format of dialogue. And it was inspired by indigenous peoples who had the practice of coming together regularly and just sit in a circle and one after the other, whenever he feels like, took up uh, uh, some object for speaking, uh, like a stone or something, and started to share from his or her heart. And then the next one and the next one. And the whole group was very concentrated um, and really deeply listening to that individual, whoever was, whoever's turn it was. And there was an anthropologist who was observing this practice of the indigenous cultures of this, this group. And he found that at one point, somehow the dialogue was over and everyone knew what to do. And they didn't have like planning of action, like we would have service planning, <laughs> service meetings, but they just knew, everyone knew what would be the right thing to do after this very different form of sharing dialogue. And he didn't for a long time understand what that point was and how it, it was possible. And I think what Bohm then described what was happening in this um, dialogue is you tune into a different 
um, consciousness of being very in the very much in the present, very much connected to your own self. We would say so conscious, um, very much connected to um, the other. And you listen deeply, and you kind of tune in, and together create a perspective out of many different uh, individual perspectives. You create a bigger perspective, like a holistic view on reality. And this is also the creation of a collective consciousness, like because now everyone shares each one's vision. And that can be very, very powerful. And um, yeah, I from from my own experience, I know this takes a bit of time in a group to create this kind of um, sharing and, and level of, of conversation and I would say um, magic, which uh, can evolve through this. But it's it's a practice and we can use these afternoon sessions today and the next um, four days, coming day, four days to do that. And so um, we have some guidelines, which um, most of you have already received by email. Um, which are supposed to be helping us in developing that culture of communication with each other. Um, and maybe you can just screen share them. Um, so the first um, guideline would be about um, developing an attitude of a learner and it's very much to what Baba says, like the student, the learner, and it, it helps us to um, keep that, uh, create an atmosphere of exploration, uh, which allows for much more openness and realizations to happen. Something new to emerge. Um, speaking from the heart is, is very much um, what, what um, uh, Stefania also mentioned, really being connected with one's own, own true voice and feelings and experience and to avoid anything which is just analytical theoretically coming from our head or you know gyan points which we just repeat but it, they don't have a connection to to ourselves and next is um the uh, a general attitude of of openness to whatever happens like um just tuning into a different level of, of um, perception um, so that things can evolve. And, and maybe, you know, sometimes we realize there is some um, um, tension inside or impatience and to, to let go of all of that and, and trust the process, you can say. And the next one, uh, again, open, but genuine listening. Um, I, I assume many of you know that, um, and Baba also says it, that he plays the flute, the, the dance of Gyan in the Merli um, differently if there are souls in front of him who are really deeply understanding what he's saying and, and love uh, the Merli. And this is even, that means it even is, is um, working with God or is, is relating to God. Um, the, the quality of listening helps the one who is speaking to get into deeper sharing. That's an amazing thing to, to explore and to experiment with. Yeah, and the opposite would be <laughs> that our inner reaction already kicks in and wants to respond and say something else without having really uh, listened to the other. And then lastly here, being mindful, like slowing down, allowing moments of silence to emerge. Like um, sometimes in the Lokic world, not, in, not so much in the Brahmin world, but if there is some, a pause, people get nervous and, and feel like we need to fill this pause and people just suddenly start to talk something, but no. Just relax and allow a moment of silence. That's totally fine. It's it's very rich moment, and that also is a good sign of of a good dialogue. So, yeah, these uh, words before uh, um, 
I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, um, feel free to, to put your hand up uh, or write in the chat. We can uh, clarify something if something is totally unclear. And now I share the next um, phase of this afternoon session. Um, we will um, break out into groups now, break up into groups now, uh, groups of four. Um, and in these groups of four, you will stay until the end of this session, um, which is planned for six o'clock CEST time, re European time. However, you are free to leave the, the group if you, if you like, um, if you want to leave beforehand, no need to stay until then. If you would like to stay longer in the, in the small group, we leave the um, room open 15 more minutes after six. Um, we will send a message into the breakout rooms um, via like a text message to let you know that the main time, the time is over, but you have 15 more minutes and then we close the Zoom room. Yeah, so that's it for now. Um, when you when you connect in, in the group of four, um, just maybe you want to start with a moment of silence. We will have a sad moment of silence together right now too. But um, yeah, so um, that's so far. And we also have um, quest uh, two questions, which Stefania will include um, in the next final part before we leave you, uh, we, we let you go into the groups. I didn't see any questions in the chat, so it seems everything is good. And um, yeah, wonderful you are there. And uh, I hand over to you, Stefania. Thank you. We thought before going into the groups, it would be valuable just to take a few minutes um, to connect with ourselves. Uh, each one of us, because it becomes so much more valuable when we share, when we have time first to really connect within and, and connect with what it is that we would like to share. So let's take a few moments. You might want to close your eyes now. And maybe you can take the mic uh, closer to yourself closer. again. Yes. Thank you. You might want to close your eyes. and connect with the self. The true authentic self. At this moment, I allow myself to be and I allow myself to be open. It's as if I step outside of my own box. I step into the open. And I bring my heart with me. It's as if I start thinking with my heart. And I consciously let go of any thoughts of others' opinions. about me or about what I say. I drop all of that. It's completely irre irrelevant at this moment.
And now I ask myself, was there any point, any aspect from today's class with Sister Wendy? Or if I didn't see the class, any point from a recent Muli? Any point of realization that has touched me recently? Is there any point from this morning's class with Wendy, from a recent Murli, or from a, another class, something that has touched me? And why has it touched me? Why did that point speak to me? And how is it relevant in my life today? How can I how can it change something in my being, my way of being or in my life? in my belief system? How can I use it for transformation? And I'm open to allow whatever comes up to come. Whatever wants to emerge, I allow it to emerge. And I'm now going to put to share the screen uh, those questions that were mentioned in the scene. Yes, this is which point stood out for you or touched you the most. On today's class with Wendy, why or how is that point relevant for your spiritual growth today? Or you can share a Murli point that touched you recently. Why did this point speak to you? And how is that point relevant for your spiritual growth today? So when you go into the small groups now, you can share about this. But also you can stay very open to share from your heart. So like Carolyn was mentioning, that um yeah about this openness and about allowing to emerge what wants to emerge so even if suddenly you want to share something else than this those questions if you feel that you know it's meaningful for the conversation you're having feel free to also think outside of the box and it's good if you keep in mind the guidelines that were shown and it's good to allow time of silence, moments of silence in between your sharings, like from one person to the next. It's good to allow time and silence to digest. Just enjoy the energy of what has been shared. So if there are no questions, um, is there anything you want to add, Caroline, before we go on to the groups? No, I think it's all clear. Wish you beautiful conversations and see you again tomorrow morning. Om Shanti. I now start the breakout groups and you will automatically be uh, led to the small groups. <laughs>